Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is my review of the Tautronics TTDL13B Death Slam. I know this isn't the normal setup I film in, it's not as bright as I would like it to be, but this is where this particular desk lamp lives. It is in my basement in my wife's crafting corner, and this was a purpose bought lamp because we needed something to fit just over here there's a cabinet so we need something that could fit in here that articulated and had a decent level of brightness so we ended up choosing this because it was on a lightning deal at one time so we picked it up what you're looking at is a lamp from base to the farthest point here when this is folded shut of 15.8 inches tall the light portion here is 13 inches long and the base itself is seven inches in width. Now, aside from being an artic articulating desk lamp, it also has a USB port on the back. Now, the USB port I did test, and it gets 4.76 volts out and 0.98 amps. I tested it trying to charge my Pixel 2 phone off of the back of it. And while it's not going to charge it super quickly, it's going to give you at least, you know, something so that the phone does not die or whatever you have plugged in there. If you have something that needs less power, you'll be able to at least power it through the back of that. But also because there is that port in the back, if we close that completely and tilt this back, you'll notice that it does not go all the way back because it cannot go past where this port is. And I'm gonna open that back up. As I mentioned before, it is articulating where it will lean forward and back, but it also spins thusly, and the LED light also articulates. So we can kind of put this into any shape that we want, which is really good for her because she can bring it in closer for some of her more finite crafting things. The light portion itself can rotate left and right 90 degrees and then up and down, meaning closed to this position of 135 degrees. And the base can swivel 45 degrees. So it's not 100% movement, but it is good enough that you can, like I said, put it where you would like it. Now, the base itself is slightly rubberized, so it does kind of help it stay in place, but you did see me having to hold the base when I was trying to really kind of maneuver it. Back here, you will also see, you will see the included power cable, which is just shy of being five feet long, which for the most part will get you where you need this to be if it's further away from a power supply. The lamp itself is adjusted using a touch sensitive panel here at the bottom. You can touch different brightness settings or you can drag your finger across. There is a quick max setting, which just tapping that will bring it all the way up to its max brightness. And then pressing, I'm sorry, touching the power button brings it down to its lowest setting. You do need to touch and hold the power button for it to actually turn itself off. And once you turn it back on, it will remember the last setting that you had it at. So if I have it at just one shy of the brightest setting and then power it down and touch to power it back up, it will go back to that setting. However, if you unplug the lamp and move it and then plug it back in, by default, it turns itself to the halfway setting. And then, you know, once you adjust it again, it will remember that. Now, the light itself has five color temperature settings and seven brightness levels. The light itself has a maximum of 410 lumens. Now, let's check out some of those different color temperatures. Tapping just above here is an icon that looks like a coffee mug and a book. Tapping it changes the brightness, changes the color temperature. As you can see, it gets warmer as we continue on. Now, the one thing about this I wish is that it would maybe dim itself quickly and then pop because the next setting is all the way back up to the brightest white. So if I had it on this warm temperature and I was working my way up, I might not necessarily want it to jump right to this brightness setting. So this is an LED lamp. So the question then becomes, how much power does it use? 
Well, when idling, meaning it's just often sitting there, it uses between zero to 0 0.5, so almost negligible. Starting at the max brightness setting, because max bright, maximum, maximum brightness is what you're gonna care about, at the bright white, we're gonna call it, setting, it uses 6.3 watts of power. On the cool setting, it uses 6.0 watts. On the midway point, it uses 5.7 watts. The warm setting uses 5.1, and the warmest setting uses 4.7. So all in all, power usage wise, it's not terrible for what you're getting. Again, this isn't going to be the brightest lamp. There are other options out there for that. However, for me, the important part was being able to articulate this however my wife needed. And one of the interesting features that I like is the fact that it can close itself up rather nicely. And yes, I still have it on, but I could turn that off really quickly, but it just folds itself away rather nicely. So if she doesn't need the lamp, because there is a window right behind me, and if it's in the daytime, you get a decent amount, amount of light coming out of that. Obviously, not right now, but this can tuck itself away when not needed. So of course, the next question is, well, how much does this particular lamp cost? Well, this is an older model lamp. I believe it's a 2018 version. Obviously, it came up on a lightning deal, so I picked it up. On the lightning deal, I was able to get it for $23. Normal retail is 30. There's a newer version of this, but that's gonna be more expensive. So if you could find this lamp between 25 and $30, it's, it's a decent buy. Like, for what I got it for, it does what I needed. And granted, my video situation here isn't the best, but hopefully this gave you an idea of what the Tautronics TTDL13B looks like, functions like, and power consumption would be like. So maybe you'll find that useful in determining if this is something that you would like. I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.